part of history. Wherever we are and whatever we're doing, world events shape our memories. And for most of the 20th century, those events were filmed and explained by Pathé. Pathé News captured history in motion, creating a living chronicle of a turbulent century. 1969 was the year that Richard Nixon finally reached the White House as President of the United States. Nixon was a survivor. After eight years as Vice President to Eisenhower during the 50s, Nixon had run for the presidency against John F. Kennedy in 1960. He lost by one of the narrowest margins in history. In 1962, Nixon tried for the governorship of California and lost that race too. Political observers closed their files. Nixon's career, they said, was over. After the Republican Party's massive defeat at the hands of Lyndon Johnson in 1964, Nixon decided to re-enter the race. And in 1968, he won the nomination, fought Hubert Humphrey, Johnson's vice president, and beat him at the polls. Nixon wanted to stimulate the American economy and ease the pressure of inflation, which was caused in part by the Vietnam War. And in Vietnam, he attempted to reduce American involvement by urging the South Vietnamese to take more responsibility for the fighting. His policy was called Vietnamization. At home, it was seen as a way of reducing the awful casualty rate amongst U.S. servicemen. By the beginning of 1969, 33,641 Americans had died in Vietnam in four years, and the public was growing tired of the carnage. Peace talks in Paris attempted to find a negotiated settlement to the war, but the fighting continued. Nixon began to withdraw troops in June to lighten the burden of domestic protest. But public concern intensified when, in November, it was revealed that investigations were taking place into what was to become known as the My Lai Massacre. In 1968, American servicemen killed almost every man, woman and child in a small hamlet called My Lai. The atrocity was seen as an indictment of American policy and strategy. Public opinion turned even more decisively against the war. Nixon never really achieved popularity as president, and even though he won a second term in 1972, his career would end in shame with the Watergate scandal of 1973 and 74. In the Middle East, tension between Israel and her Arab neighbors continued to flare into sporadic violence. In February, Golda Meir became Prime Minister of Israel and then fought a general election later in the year. She won and put together a coalition government which she led through another election in 1973. She resigned in 1974. 1969 was also the year in which a man finally stepped onto the moon. In 1961, President Kennedy had promised that by the end of the decade, the American space program would put a man on the moon, and NASA, with massive funding from government, managed to fulfill his dream. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took a few small steps as the world watched in awe, and everyone agreed that a giant leap for mankind had indeed been made.